I'm here at a damp but beautiful Lake Rotorua in the Rotorua area, where a home invasion by a bunch of foreign intruders has left local lake residents scared and fighting for survival. Shane Grayling is biosecurity team leader for the Bay of Plenty Regional Council. So Shane, tell us who are these foreign offenders? The offenders in question are brown bullhead catfish. They're particularly nasty individuals. They were first discovered in Lake Rotuiti in 2016 by one of our contractors that was carrying out some weed control work in the area. Now these offenders are known to be aggressive and can cause quite a bit of damage. What is it that our viewers should be concerned about? That's correct. They're very aggressive predators. They, they eat a whole variety of prey. They're considered the single biggest threat to Kura. They could potentially impact on our trout fishery. They're particularly nasty little organisms. And you've got to believe they didn't get here on their own. How did they get into the lake? Well, I guess in terms of how they got into the lake, it could be accidental or it could be intentional. They are known to hitchhike on boat trailers, so as people move between lakes, um, there is the potential that they're accidentally carrying unwanted organisms with them. So what can lake users, people in the area and our viewers do to stop this spread? It's about individuals being responsible. If they're boaties and they're in a waterway, if they're going to move to another waterway, check your boat, make sure it's clean, make sure it's dry, make sure you're not moving anything from lake to lake. What do these organisms look like? What are they? They're not particularly attractive organisms. Um, catfish have whiskers, um, they're brown, they have spines, they're not particularly attractive. So if you catch something and it looks really ugly, take a photo, let us know, we'll come and check it out. Well, there you are. You know what they look like and you know what to look for. Blowing on the pie isn't going to cut it here. We need to do something about this problem and quickly. So if you think you can help or if you want more information about this problem, go to stopthespread.co.nz.